right here, right here, on the stage. Well, coming back home to Africa, Africa is the land of music with great potentials and, of course, artists who dare to dream. We'll go all the way to Tanzania right now as Diamond Platinums is one who has declared his interest to have a future with Rihanna. Well, Diamond Platinums' career stemmed all the way from Tanzania and broke out into the rest of Africa. I did catch him perform once in Calabar at the CCC at the Most Beautiful Girl in Africa pageant. And hey, man is also a good performer. Well, he posted uh, this following a BBC interview. Well, the Wasifa president, Diamond Platinum, has said that he is willing to work with American and Barbadian beautypreneur Rihanna on a song. While speaking with BBC during his interview on his ongoing UK media tour, Shubu Dangote said he always admired Rihanna's exceptional talent and work ethic, adding that having her on a collaborative project would be a big win for him. He added that his team is already in talks with the Diamonds hitmaker to try and secure a collaboration for her upcoming studio album. Well, according to other reports gathered from Capital Extra, Queen Riri charges over a hundred million, did I say a hundred? A million dollars for collaborative projects on the minimum. Well, on the other hand, Snoop Dogg, who was sported in the studio with Platinums last year, also revealed that he charges $250,000 for 16 bars on a song. I don't know how you're familiar with music, but you know what 16 bars is? <laughs> That's quite the song for Snoop Dogg to spit 16 bars on a song for you. Well, Snoop Dogg also went on to say he would give an hour for a video shoot as he made that remark in a recent interview. Well, looking at Diamond Platinum's and Rihanna on a song, I'm thinking what type of vibe would he have? Would it be R&B? Would it be party vibey? Well, we know he's versatile like that. We know Rihanna, whichever way, can always kill a track. Well, quite recently, Diamond Platinum's has had collaborations with the likes of American singer Neo, Rick Ross, Alicia Keys, and Omarion. Well, he also hinted at working with the legendary Buster Rhymes, Swalee, Wiz Khalifa, Akon, Swiss Beats, and not forgetting Kanye West's manager, Boutame. Back in 2021, the WCB was C for CEO camped in the U.S. for almost two weeks, rubbing shoulders with some of the A-list names in the industries, and also attending the 2021 BT Awards, where he was a nominee.